those guys keep the door open, I think that's just the sort of ground man doesn't feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Our guys wouldn't do that. <laughs> They'd close and give them the finger, yeah, brother. Right. <laughs> when they want something to fall down, they come up here and fill it. What we did was put an uh, air compressor up on the, on the rig. You see that wood? Uh -huh. Well, there's an air compressor underneath us. Because when we drag these in this, sometimes we get these stones get stuck in the uh, plug. We just blow it out. Oh, okay. you, you pull the plastic plugs out of the uh, splice ahead of time? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they do that for they bring over here. And what we hit it once with that air compressor, it blows in and out. And then sometimes we'll hit it with some of that. Load up in the air, falling sideways like that. Almost safe. Yeah, it's not even moving. No, no. That's amazing. You get the load that high on a team that's relatively small. I noticed the folks in um, folks in Charleston said they like that side pickup better. Yeah. I noticed everybody in Finland had it straight on over the over the front. The plugs have been pulled out, so he's just blowing out the, uh, getting the dirt out of the uh, female sockets. Is this one of the extendable counterweight? Right. Okay. I think the track is a little bit wider. What's your record for 100 foot piles in a day? You're saying about like 30, you say 30, uh, 32, 33? We're averaging probably 30, but uh, uh, I think it's probably just more than that. Uh, what, what's your work hours with Mike? We usually stop at about 4. What's the best work? Stop at 4. You only work 8 hours a day. Yeah, well, I'll take it work longer than that. Right? Probably, I think it's probably hot Florida stuff. Looking at white sand, too. That's murder. We work 10 hours a day, four cans. 